Now, look, thanks for coming along this morning for what is, I believe, a very important milestone in the East-West Link. Uh, today we've got industry groups here who are viewing some of the core samples that have been uh, exhibited uh, as a result of uh, the drilling of 43 individual holes along the uh, proposed corridor of the East-West Link. It's vital that we undertake this sort of work uh, and the Bailey Government provided $15 million to the Linking Melbourne Authority for this work to be able to be undertaken. Uh, what this does, it allows the construction industry to have a good look at what's underground and for them to start to look at and determine uh, the uh, construction methodology they would use, uh, the types of cutting heads on the boring machines that they would use, understand in this particular project the tunnel boring equipment we're looking at would be somewhere in the order of uh, a 15 uh, metre diameter and somewhere in the order of 200 metres long. Uh, that would be uh, the biggest uh, tunnel boring uh, equipment that's been brought into Victoria for a project like this. Uh, this is an important project for the, the Bailey Government. Uh, you only have to look at the recent reports in relation to the pressure that's on the Westgate Bridge. Summary order of 160,000 vehicles um, a day at the moment, uh, pushing out to summary order of 235,000 vehicles in around 20 years' time. Now, that structure and the M1 is not capable of dealing with that. We have to uh, push forward with this particular project and I say today is about providing as much information as is possible for the construction industry and the finance industry uh, to put forward a very competitive bid to the government once the business plan has been completed. Uh, I will have that business plan uh, early in the new year once all the work has been completed. As I say, when you have a look at the, the core samples behind you, there's quite obviously a lot of basalt, uh, a lot of sandstone and some other material, but as I say, the construction industry can feel quite confident knowing that they'll be provided with the best information possible for them to provide a competitive bid. Tunnel construction in Melbourne is never, never easy, so um, you know that's why we've uh, had uh, colleagues at Big Roads do all the drilling for us, and that's why we're presenting all of this information now, so that the industry can uh, inform us whether further drilling work should be undertaken.